show the lovely Ollie Mers is coming to see us in Kent on July 29th to the Sounds Island Festival at Quex Park. Now I thought it might be a good idea to catch up with Ollie a little bit, you know, before he comes to Kent. So we've been invited by Ollie into London to a top secret location. Can't say where I am, although the BT Tower in the background kind of gives it away. So I'm going to go and have a quick catch up with the cheeky chappy himself. Ollie Mers, thank you for joining me on Heart Breakfast with James and Charlie. I haven't got James, I've lost him. Why? Wait, wait, did James not want to come down and see me? Well, he did. Last time I saw James, he was getting on the train, but I think he got on the other side and went to France. So I'm just hoping just he'll find back us. back from France. <laughs> oh, no, it's a pleasure. No, it's fine. I, I'm happy to be talking to you, so it's not a problem. Thank you very much. Before we start, actually, I have got some presents for you. Really? Hang on, I want to go into the handbag. Yeah, I'm like Mary Poppins. Right. What have you got me? It's all edible. Like the first things I've got you are Haribo oh. because I read that you like them. That's, that's such a nice present. Oh, we've got the ex extras. I like what Haribo did there. You know you're coming to Kent on the 29th mm -hmm. of July. Yeah. You're coming to Quex Park. Oh, no. Okay, right. These are Kent crisps. Wow. They're made at Quex Park. So these are fish and vinegar. Oyster, no? Yeah, oyster and vinegar and Ashmore cheese and onion. Wow. Thank you very much. I'm not eating potatoes at the moment, but oh. but I'm I will I will I will I will eat them. I have a couple. Give them to someone in your entourage because you are coming to visit that place where they're made on the 29th of July. So you need to try them. These, these look really nice. Oh my goodness! Is it a bit Essex inspired? You know, like the whole OMG. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Well, I do you know. Funny enough, I saw a really. I was out, out having having lunch when I wrote the song, and I saw this really hot girl walk past, and I was like, oh my. god. God, she's a ch and we was like maybe maybe we could do a song about that like just instantly looking at someone or and you're just like wow she's really attractive or like maybe you know I could see myself with that person like my life could change so I went onto the internet and we found like it went to an idioms and idioms is like a sort of a saying isn't it so we found oh my goodness and I was like. Oh, Ah, cool. And then I thought, that'd be quite cool on Twitter, wouldn't it? Hashtag OMG, yeah. stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, um, yeah, like almost like the Usher song, Gemma. Oh, my yeah. God. So we, we decided we thought it'd be quite cool. And then we did the song about it. And then it, it's now been a single, which I'm really happy with as well. So Are all your singles like girl inspired? Like hot girls that walk past like heart skips a beat, oh. dance with me? No, they are, aren't they? Well, heart skips a beat was kind of about um, me in a moment with a girl. It was like... Um, sort of in a relationship kind of just and we're sort of having a tough time but every time we play this one song it sort of brings us back together and then obviously Dance Me Tonight was me seeing a really hot girl across the room and I suppose oh my goodness is kind of the same right. I just went through your Twitter earlier just right. in the last sort of seven days or so okay oh you've been to Manchester been to Germany been to France been on Celebrity Juice been on Des O'Connor been to see your mates JLS hung out with Tyo Cruz and Sean Paul um, Heart Skips a Beat went platinum in Germany you've confirmed you'll be working on your third album over the summer you had a photo taken where you looked like a what's it and you <laughs> tweeted a picture of yourself dressed as Austin Powers you don't stop Ollie ever do you? No, I don't. That's really interesting. When you put it on lag, it's like, oh, God, actually, Jesus, that's quite a lot. That was seven days in Ollie World. That is seven days in my world. Um, do you know what? I, I, that's quite amazing, really, to see that. But no, I just work really hard. I, I think that in every job you do, if you want to be successful, if you want to you want to get to a certain point, you have to work for it. It's not going to become easy for you. Some people it does, some people it doesn't. But I think nine times out of ten, you know, if I want to be a successful artist in this country I need to work hard for it and amazing congratulations on the tour that mm -hmm. is amazing and at the moment the American girls are loving the British guys so I reckon great time to go well uh, they like the the boy bands I'm not sure I don't know about myself I'll see hopefully they'll they'll like me um but you know I, I don't know until I go over there really I'm hoping that I'll get a nice leg up from the boys because you know the, the one direction and one the wanted as, as uh, you know all the girls fancy them anyway even here in the UK. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll, I'll get some lady female attention over there. I've got a feeling, Ollie, you're going to be okay. Now, okay. you've got massive Twitter following. following. Right, yeah. um, so I asked Twitter... Twitter following. Though. Yeah, well, you know, we both tweet quite a lot, don't we? It's yeah. how you do it. Um, a couple of questions from Twitter from your fans. Mm -hmm. From Cesar, if you were in a circus and had to do a draw, a jaw-dropping daredevil stunt, what would you do? My my great-great-grand my, my great and granddad. Um, actually were in a circus in Latvia that had their own show. It's called the Mers Spectacular. And that's not even a joke. That's 100% true. I've got pictures at home of my great-great-nan doing the tightrope and doing all the, you know, like the jump from the top board into yeah. the pool and stuff like that. Are you winding me up? 
No, 100% true. I'm being deadly Seriously. serious. 100%. That's a scoop. I bet you've never told anyone that before. Right, Ollie. You're one of my chat blinds. I, I bring out when I chat to girls. To be honest. You should do. No, it's not. not <laughs> doesn't fool many girls, that one. Right, we're going to do the heartbreak for showbiz board, okay? okay? We do this with all our celebrity guests. Three questions, really quick. I'll score you out of ten, okay? Who's winning? Um, Sooty, actually. Shut <laughs> up. Under Sooty is Aldo Zilli, Danny Minogue. Right down the bottom, those Justin Lee Collins really? and James Morrison. Okay, question number one. Who's the most famous person in your mobile phone? Uh, Simon Cowell. Everyone says that. I'm going to give you a five out of ten for that, Ollie. Oh, what? <laughs> Who else in that list has Simon Cowell there? Oh, Danny Minogue. Loads of people, seriously. No. Right, next question. Who's the most, what's the most showbiz party you've ever been to? Um, I'd probably say Jamie O'Hara and Daniel Lloyd's engagement party, which was quite fun. That ain't that great either. On the Brit Awards. Mylene Glass went to Puff Daddy's yacht party. I went to the Brits. The Brits. Brits after party. Um, I haven't really. I never get invited to. Oh, no, I never. Well, I, I go to parties with JLS and that, but I never really get invited to anyone's parties. Oh, it's because you're too busy. I'm going to give that five as well. Yeah, okay, so you've got ten at the moment. Yeah. What's the best thing you've ever been given for free, apart from the crisps I just gave you? And the sweets. Um, the best thing I've been given for free. Mm. Oh, my. Um, <laughs> I got given a free membership card to Fort Park. And all like the um, all like the Fort Park, Alton yeah. Towers, Chesson and World of Adventures. We've got them as well. What? That's a really good oh nice Ollie. Thing. That's, a really that's good rubbish. Present. But that's a really good free present, though. It is, but it's not that showbiz, which means you're very down to earth. I'm going to give you four for that. So you get fourteen. Oh, four. This is on on tape. Fourteen out of thirty, like number, which I'm means number six. Well, I'm number fourteen. Oh my goodness, Ollie! 16. You're you're under James Morrison. You're above Alan Titchmarsh, though. Well, that's all right. At least I'm not. At least I'm not as showbiz as City. What did City get for free then? A lawnmower. And you gave him a ten for that. It's City. His little. It was a full like size lawnmower. I like this game. Right, Ollie. That was the heartbreak for showbiz ball. Thank you for being such a good sport and. Uh, can't wait to see you on the 29th of July in Kent. That's right, I'll see you on the 29th of July.